first we do our cloud practitioner then solution architect associate and then solution architect professional or our data engineer then also you need to start with the cloud practitioner associate architect data analysis or security whichever hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ritika and today we are diving into the world of cloud certification specifically we will be decoding and comparison between the three fundamental certifications aws cloud practitioner azure fundamental the google digital leader by google cloud so let's begin by understanding the each certification in detail to help you to make informed decision but why cloud certification they are not just the badge of honor they are the powerful tool that can supercharge your career trajectory. The fundamental certifications are just the key to unlock your career into the cloud. And I don't think so I need to explain you the value of the certifications. No, I don't think so. It is not because they will guarantee you a job. No, they won't. But certification are still valuable tool and I believe their primary value is to guide your learning process. This certification is just to validate, is just to validate your expertise in the cloud technology. They are just like your stepping stone into the world of cloud technology. The reason I am doing this cloud certification is because in my comp in my company, I have those projects and I think if I do the certification, I will be able to get more hands-on experience while entering into those projects. And it will be easy because it, I'm already working in that company and I can apply for it. If I have those certification, I can prove my expertise. So put that on the comments and let me know like how, why you want to do the certification. Is your, com is your company having those projects or you want to join those companies which have the cloud projects or you want to work in the cloud field? Put that on the comments below and let me know. And as you can see the graph here, the an average cloud computing salary is much higher than the other fields. And it is really in demand. Like, and I believe like in, in here in Australia, we have so many cloud opportunities. So if you do the certification and if you want to come here and work yet, and I'm sure you will definitely get the jobs here if you have those expertise and you, if you gain some hands-on experience in cloud field, which is really like most of the companies are migrating on cloud as my company has migrated to the cloud and we are still on the hybrid mode but we are working on it so just these certification will not will not give you those jobs but at least they will help you in you in moving on into this industry so let's dive deeper into each of the certificate and let's see how we can get those certification done so let's move on with the AWS practitioner certification. In this certification, like this is the stepping stone in the AWS. And uh, if you want to be a solution architect or an application architect, the career path, first we do our cloud practitioner, then solution architect associate, and then solution architect professional or so you want to follow. So this is the solution architect. If you want to be a cloud, Data engineer, then also you need to start with the cloud practitioner, associate architect, data analysis or security, whichever you feel like in the professional one. But it's not mandatory. You can skip it and you can move on with the speciality of the solution architect because most of the, but as the next will be the solution architect, which you have to do, as you can see here, if you want to be a solution architect or you want to be a network or if you are a network engineer machine learning or cl cloud security architect you have to start with the solution architects but for your starting and your fundamental clearance you need to do uh, I, I i suggest you to do the cloud practitioner first if you haven't if you haven't done any study or anything or into the cloud so you, 
I, I prefer you to start with the cloud practitioner first. So if we go in the cloud practitioner, the foundational, the exam will be the 90 minutes and the format will be the 65 questions with multiple choice and multiple op responses and the cost is 100 USD. You can go to the console of AWS and you can download the or you can they have the prep exam questions or you can do that and you can learn from there and if you want to go with the AWS cloud practitioner you can go and learn the free course from the AWS skill builder you can enroll yourself for that and it's free you can learn all the fundamentals there I think that will be the best option for you if you don't want to spend any money on it. it. It is free. Or if you want to dive deeper or you want some more clarification or anything, you can you can read the white paper by the AWS or you can or you can enroll yourself to so many courses a provider like Coursera, Udemy, Cloud Jewelry. There's so many these training providers you can learn you can learn from there i mostly i use the cloud guru if they are a bit little bit pricey i think they are a little bit pricey in comparison to coursera or um, uh, udemy but they provide um, the hands-on labs they are not sponsoring it's just like i am using it so i am like it's been more than a year i am using the cloud guru and i feel that they explain a little bit more and uh, you get the hands-on labs in that so i learn more clear like it, it gets more clear in that it's just upon you, like whichever you feel like. But I think if you want to go free, AWS is providing free cloud practitioner um, training, um, the course. You can go and enroll on the skill builder. So that was AWS cloud practitioner. And uh, so next we'll move on the Azure fundamentals. I have already done the Azure fundamental. I have done Azure Fundamental because my environment is of Microsoft and the same is like if your environment of uh, like in your company is more of a Microsoft and they have like it's it's easy for like them to transition and be on the hybrid <laughs> mode like on prem and on cloud it it's is much easier in Azure so um and if you know more about in Microsoft and you are like your uh, work is more in Microsoft, I prefer you should go for uh, Azure Fundamentals. Like in my case, I am doing more in Microsoft. I was handling the Teams and Azure AD, which is now identity now. So uh, Microsoft 365. So. I prefer Azure uh, in that case. And this certification covers the basic cloud concepts, Azure services, and security, compliances, and in pricing. So you will get a basic knowledge in this Azure fundamental portal. If you go on the Microsoft portal, you can go on the credentials. And, uh, and if you scroll down, you can see the Microsoft certification. You can browse certifications and here you can have like a bunch of microsoft certification whichever you like you can plan your certification according to your needs and so many certification in microsoft i i think like you can do so much in microsoft azure so here you can select the azure fundamentals and you scroll down and you can see microsoft also have self-paced tutorials or uh, you can see um, the documents you can go and learn from there and uh, you can go and read that and this certification is also $99 is just uh, one dollar less uh, so that was Microsoft Azure and next is the Google Cloud certification but so now if you move on to the Google Cloud certification we have Google Digital Leader more like this is not up to the par to the AWS, but still growing and uh, it is expanding. And we all are using Google for so long and it has 
like one point something billion people using Google's search engine. So yeah, Google is big. So, <laughs> but the certification, this certification, they have came like a bit later. So they are still not like Amazon, but yeah, you can go with the Google certification and they in Google Cloud, the competition is not that much in terms of uh, engineers. So if you want, you can go with the Google Cloud. But I think like you can get the courses in Coursera, Udemy, but um, the one which I am using is the Google Cloud, uh, sorry, the Cloud Guru, which is, but for the Google Cloud, the hands-on labs and the training, I think is much less in comparison to AWS. Uh, but in Cloud Guru, they have their courses and I think they have uh, courses in Coursera or Udemy. I haven't checked for, for the GCP. If you prefer Google Cloud, you can go and uh, join uh, Cloud Guru or Udemy or Coursera or any other platform, whichever you feel like. So this certification will also be helping you in basic cloud concepts, development, security, pricing, billing. So as you go on the Google Cloud portal, you can select your Google Digital Leader certification. You can register there and see, uh, you can scroll down your foundation certification and it's recommended Google Cloud Digital Leader. You can select that. Uh, if you create your own Google Cloud, they, you will start with your free tier, just like AWS. So that is a much, like this will be much help in understanding the platform. The length of the certification is 90 minutes and the registration fee is $99. And the, it is available in English and Japanese, whichever you feel like. So these three are the major cloud providers. And there are many others, uh, small providers, but yeah, more widely used is AWS and Azure. And GCP is like uh, just making their mark in the industry, uh, like in the. So before selecting any company or joining any company, you just check like which cloud platform they are using, so that you can, so that you can do that certification beforehand, and so you will get that edge of uh, knowing that platform and um, working on it, like all the clouds providers had the similarities that's why like I did the Azure uh, I did the Azure fundamentals and I learned the GCP fundamentals and it's just the same it's just it's like almost the same they just change the terminology like um, in one they call something and the other one they call something <laughs> So as you can see in this chart, we have services like virtual servers, in AWS we call it Elastic Compute Cloud, in Azure we call it Virtual Machines and in GCP we call it Google Compute Engine. So same that happens in other services. So if you go for any of the platform, you can understand the other platform easily if you have your basic concepts clear. So now what are the pros and cons of AWS Azure and Google? So AWS is a leading cloud innovator offering mature and feature-rich technology, a familiar environment for users already invested in Microsoft ecosystem. But for the Google offers live migration of virtual machines. So if you are into virtual machines, you can go with the Google. And has AWS has the broad global presence with the vast network of data centers. Like they have so many data centers and with the Azure seamless integration with the Microsoft products, like they with the Google provides total tool set for the artificial intelligence, AI and the machine learning. If it's your interest, if machine learning is your interest or the AI is your interest, Google Cloud will be better for you. So offers comprehensive document, so AWS offers comprehensive documentation and extensive training materials. Like you can find so many documents on AWS and like you can find any of in on any topic on the AWS. You can go for the documentation, but that is lagged in, I, in both Azure and Google. Like they don't have that much of documentation done 
they still need to grow up in that field, like provide the proper documentation on Azure and Google. And the AWS uh, support, customer support is much better than the Azure and the Google, but yeah. But for the AWS, it is their billing is very complex and sometimes it's difficult to navigate. So it's a little bit complex in terms of billing and the pricing uh, in AWS, but it is much easier in Microsoft and Google. Like they have, uh, and Google provides a competitive pricing model and flexible cost control options, which is much like if you are on the project, you can go with the Google or Azure, but they all, uh, but they all provide the basic uh, free tier. Uh, so if you want to learn about the AWS or Google or Azure, you can, you can create your free account on the portal and you can use it with the free tier and you can learn the basic concepts and get on, get your hands on, on the portal and understand more on the AWS uh, or Google or Azure. So that was the comparison between the AWS, Azure and Google, whichever you feel like you can do. If you're still unsure which one to pick up at random, like you are, you can't go wrong. Like you can start with any of them, whichever you feel like and you think uh, uh, if Google or Azure, they are more better or like they can, you can understand that more. You can learn and start your cloud journey with any of the cloud platforms because it's just a starting. You need to understand the basic concepts. So, so you can choose any of the cloud platform according to your career goals and uh, your liking or which whichever will benefit you more in your career but just do it so which one you have selected put that on the comments below and let me know like how many people are going for aws azure or google let me know i and if you want me to create any video on any of the topics or any of the other platforms Put that on the comments below. So the main takeaway on today's cloud certification discussion, you can skip this and you can move on to the more higher certifications uh, like associate architect or any specialized one. But if you are new to the cloud, I prefer you to go with this, with the basic level certification so that you're Basic concepts must be clear before going into the higher version. If you are still here, thanks for you to support my channel and if you like this video, don't forget to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell for, for more upcoming videos and don't forget to share my videos for the one who needs. If you feel that your friend wants to know more about it, you can share my videos. and. That's how you can support my channel and I will be posting more videos on AWS and if you want to cover any specific topic, please put that in the comments below and let me know. I will definitely create a video on it and see you next time. Bye.